Today in Questions That Matter, we're asking, what is the mark of the beast? Here's John E. Cobb from the Herald of Hope. So there's been a lot of speculation about the mark of the beast and there's no doubt the scripture says that when Antichrist appears, uh, he is going to use the number 666 as an identification. Uh, during the tribulation, uh, he will... Uh, first of all, sign a covenant with the Jews for seven years. Uh, but then uh, for the first three and a half years, the Antichrist will have to step back because you see Russia and the Muslims will occupy the Middle East uh, in a conflict uh, during that first half. And so uh, the Antichrist, who the Bible indicates will be from the revived Roman Empire, or the EU as we know it today, uh, he will have to step back and uh, keep out of the road. And we can see how that can happen because Russia supplies 40% of Europe's uh, oil and gas. And uh, now that Biden is in, uh, he is no longer supplying American fuel to Europe and Russia has taken up the slack. And so Russia is becoming more important uh, to Europe. So... When Russia comes down on the land of Israel, they'll be able to say to Europe, uh, keep out or else we'll switch off the gas. You'll have no gas and fuel um, for your power stations and for your vehicles. And so uh, Europe will have to set back uh, for the first three and a half years. But then halfway through, after Russia is destroyed, then Antichrist will uh, then assert himself He'll have no resistance from the Muslims and from Russia because they'll be destroyed and he'll be able to move into the Middle East. And the Bible tells us that when he does, he's going to claim to be God and he's going to have 42 months. We read that in Revelation chapter 13, verse 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 42 months. So, Antichrist will have his reign for the last three and a half years or 42 months of the Great Tribulation. And at that stage, you see, the Russians will be destroyed, Russia will burn with fire, the Muslims will already be destroyed, and in the East, the Asian nations will have had their great conflict and they will have lost their power and the world will be in chaos. There'll be earthquakes uh, there'll be pestilence, uh, there'll be the oceans, uh, one third of the ships in the ocean will perish under one of the judgments uh, in the first half of the tribulation. And so there'll be chaos. And when Antichrist comes to power, he will be able to say, I will feed you if you worship me, if you bow to me, if you receive my mark in your forehand or in your forehead. And unless people receive his mark on their forehead or their forearm, they will not be able to buy or sell. It'll become uh, a sign that will distinguish uh, all those who subscribe to the beast, the Antichrist, and worship him. And if they don't, they won't be able to get food. And that's going to be the situation. Of course, the those who follow the Lord will not be able to do that, and he will have the power to put them to death and many there will be that will be martyred during that second half of the tribulation. So the mark of the beast is something that, it's not the uh, bank card, uh, it's going to be a physical mark that will come on the right hand or the forehead of those who live during the second half of the tribulation.